Sometimes it's hard to see why nature is important. We live in cities, human-created environments that are full of people and selected plants and animals. Aside from a few larger parks, our city environment is pretty controlled. Our food comes from the fridge, our water comes from the tap. At least, that's how it seems. In cities, we tend to forget that biodiversity, or the total range of species and ecosystems in nature, is the reason we're able to live so well on this earth, among other organisms. My name is Edward Nye. I'm 16 at St. George's School in grade 12. And I spend a lot of time playing outside and big hockey fan. If we're not exposed to the biodiversity that we have here, or if we're not exposed to the environment, we run the risk of not understanding exactly how much that biodiversity is actually supporting the way we live in the concrete jungle. We turn on a tap and, and water, it's clean and it's fresh, but if we don't understand the amount of energy that nature has put into creating each drop of water, the amount of natural process that it takes to get the water that we drink out of the tap, we're going to take what we have, something as basic as water, for granted. And I worry that one day we won't be able to turn on the tap for water. Our clean water comes from watersheds. The oxygen we breathe comes from all plants in the oceans and on land. And raw materials from the earth form the basis of all human development. We hear all the time that we can't live without a healthy economy, but an economy can only exist if the ecosystems from which it's derived are healthy. Although it's difficult to put an exact value on nature, a recent United Nations estimate says that it's worth 30 times more than the world's economies. Well, there's a lot of reasons to care about biodiversity. I think the fundamental reason, though, why uh, we need to save nature is because nature has its own intrinsic value, its own intrinsic worth. When people think about biodiversity, they're normally thinking about species, but it also exists on multiple levels, including on, on the level of ecosystems. Ecosystems in their most natural state are the most important aspect of biodiversity, and it's the interactions or, or the relationships that are at least as important as the creatures themselves. Ecosystems are just that, systems of plants, animals, earth, and water interacting. Every organism has a role. If you take away one species, you create a permanent void. Hi, I'm David Suzuki, and I founded the David Suzuki Foundation. In a city, it's easy to think that we're not part of nature. We live in a completely human-created environment. I think that we desperately need to shift the way that we look at the world. We've lost that sense that we are a part of nature and dependent on it. That we are all biological creatures and our absolutely first most important role is to care for the natural world that lets us survive. So there are so many services that nature performs to keep the planet healthy and habitable for us not to realize the economic role or value of that is, is crazy. In terms of how do you save nature, like the important thing I believe is not just the personal individual efforts uh, based on your lifestyle, but uh, what we do need to do is get laws and legislation and policies in place. There are as many reasons to care about biodiversity as there are species. We are a part of nature. And that's the way it has always been. It's essential to understand that biodiversity is the basis for all the things we have in life. If we keep taking away parts of it, we can expect it to fall apart. It's our duty to protect biodiversity.